Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still on Meccano Techniques and for working on revisions as we are preparing ourselves for the exams which are ahead of time. We have got the questions that we are going to focus on on hydraulic systems. Uh, this is from the question paper of April 2021. Uh, that's one of the question papers that I, I, I wanted us to just work on. Very, very important especially on this question because it gives us uh, almost everything that we need to know about hydraulic systems. Okay, so we are given 5.1, a horizontal pipeline, take note it's a horizontal pipeline, which means we're just referring guys to a just normal pipeline, just a normal pipeline. Okay, so here, that's what we are given in that case. So we are given that uh, the diameter of this pipeline is 90 millimeters. We are given the diameter of the pipeline, 90 millimeters, convert to meters by dividing by 1000, which is 0 0.09 meters. And it conveys water at 30 liters per second. What do we have there? That is the flow rate. Okay. So the flow rate in this case is 30 liters per second. But we know that one cubic meter is equivalent to 1,000 liters. So we're going to divide by 1,000 to convert to meter to cubic meters. So that is going to be 0, 0.03 cubic meters per second. All right. Then we are given that the pressure drop, which is the difference between P1 and P2, is given as 60 kilopascal. Okay, so this simply means P1 minus P2, okay? Then per 20 meter, we are given the length of the pipe now, which is 20 meters. So I talk, I, I, talk, I referred to this type of equation. I talked about this before, but it's just for, 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 for revision, guys, okay? And so we are given now on 5.2, 5.11, calculate the value of the coefficient of friction, which is F, using the Dacus formula, okay? So uh, how do we calculate F? Okay, this one, remember we said we are going to take it from HF, where we know that HF is equivalent to, from our decades formula, HF is equivalent to FLQ squared over 3.026, 3 uh, D to the exponent of five. Okay, so it's a matter of transposing for F, okay? So if you transpose for F, we are going to obtain 3.026. Uh, we talked about this one before, so I'm just gonna rush through. So that's d to the exponent of five, hf, everything over lq to the exponent of two. So we do not have hf, we have everything. Uh, yes, we've got q, everything is there, but we do not have hf. So remember that hf can also be taken from the pressure difference of P1 minus P2, over rho g. All right, so this is going to be over rho g in this case, which is just your pressure. All right, so remember that we can have our hf there. So h uh, from the pressure of um, 60 kilopascals, which is 60,000, okay, kilo, remember it's a thousand, so you multiply by a thousand, so it goes 60,000 or 60 times 10 to the exponent of three, over rho g, this is density for water. Uh, we are given this as water, so that's 1,000 kgs per cubic meter. So we are going to have 1,000 times 9,81. So as you can see, it's a repetition. We talked about this. We talked about this a lot of time. Okay, anyways, so your HF, if you are to simplify this properly, we are going to obtain 6,16 uh, in meters. Then we can substitute this information now to find our F, which is 3.026 times D, which is our diameter. In this case, remember our diameter was 0 .0, yeah, 0 0.09. So that's 0 0.09 to the exponent of five times HF, which is the one that we calculated here, 6.116. Everything over LQ squared, which is the length, times Q squ uh, squared, the length of the pipe being 20 meters times Q, the rate of flow in cubic meters per second, 0 0.03. All right, so that's gonna be your F, which is going to be 
0, 7, 1 times 10 to the exponent of negative 3. All right, so you can leave your answer like this, or you can write it as a decimal, which is going to be 0, uh, 00671 like that. Okay, so, so that's a 0 here, sorry. So it's going to be 0, uh, 00671 like that. Okay, uh, that will be your F. So, or you can just leave it like that, guys. This is a constant, so you can just even leave it like that. Okay, 5.12, which is one of the easiest equations, is to calculate using the Chisholm's formula to calculate the hydraulic mean depth, which is M. So, guys, remember that M is D over 4, so it's going to be D uh, 0 0.09 over 4. So, if you divide it properly from your calculator, uh, that is going to be 0, 0, 0, uh, no, just one zero there. So that's 225, all right, 225 in meters, okay? Remember, if this was in meters. If it is in millimeters, then you write it in millimeters. You just divide 90, divide by four, okay? Then 5.13, use the cheese formula again to calculate the hydraulic gradient, which is I. So remember that I is equivalent to HF over L which is our HF, we calculated it here, 6.116. So this is going to be 6.116 over the length of the pipe, 20 meters. Okay, so that is your I in this case, which is going to be 0, 0,3058, all right? So we've got our hydraulic gradient there, all right? 5.14 is now to calculate the cheese coefficient C. Okay, where can we have our C? So to find the C, guys, there's a lot. Okay, let me just have it here aside. This is 5.2. All right. So to find the C, we're going to have a lot. Okay, let's let's see. Uh, 5.14. Is it 5.14 or 5.2? This is 5.2. Okay, 5.14. Okay. So this is what you're going to have. We know that from our velocity, velocity is equivalent to C, the square root of the mean depth times uh, the I, which is the hydraulic gradient. So we can find C by dividing by this square root. So it's going to be V over the square root of MI. But the advantage that we have so far is that we calculated M, we calculated I from our cheese constant that we have before. What about V? We do not have this V, all right. So to find V, we know that uh, from the rate of flow here, remember we are given the rate of flow of uh, 0, 0,03. So we are going to take from our rate of flow because we know that the rate of flow is equivalent to VA. We do not have area again, okay? So V, okay, let's just write, divide by A, we divide by A both sides, so this can cancel, so it's going to be Q over A. And area is given by pi D squared over four. So that means you can calculate your V by inserting these values, Q representing the flow of 0, 0,03 here. We've got our Q 0, 0,03. So we are going to have this as uh, 0, 0,03. Okay, that's 0, 0,03 over pi times the diameter. Remember guys, the diameter of the pipe, uh, in this case, we used D here. The diameter of the pipe was 0, 0,09. 0, 0,09 squared over 4 like this. All right. So that's what you're going to do. We have our velocity of the pipe, which is 4.716 meters per second. So since we have velocity, therefore, we can calculate the cheese coefficient, which is going to be C is equal to V. Uh, 4,716 meters per second over the square root of mi. And we calculated these values before. If you are to check here, our m, we calculated here, that was 0, 0, this one, and our i is 0, 0,3058. Uh, so it's just a matter of substituting. We calculated these ones. So we are going to have m, which we said it's 0, 0,0225 times I, which we said is 0, 0,3058. All right, so this is going to give you the value for C. So by just substituting into the formula, we are going to have 
comma 854, okay, which is the, the coefficient that we are given. So take note, guys, how you attempt these typical questions. Please make sure that you attempt them properly uh, as we are given these uh, typical questions. Okay, then on uh, question 5.2, uh, all right, we are now given find the flow. Uh, in this case, we are given to find the flow rate of water flowing through a pipe 180 millimeters in diameter. Okay, so let's just remove this. Uh, which is the venture, okay, and we are given, the, okay, let's just write our information. So in this case, we are given, uh, that's 5.2. All right, so we've got our 5.2 here. So we are given that we need to find the flow rate, which is our Q. So we do not uh, know the flow rate, which is Q, but we are given that it is got a diameter, the diameter of the pipe 180, which is uh, the diameter of the pipe, that's our capital letter D. Uh, which is 180 millimeters convert to meters by dividing by 1000, 0 0.18 meters, which in this case is a venturi meter. So there's a venturi meter that we have, which has got a throat diameter, which is the small letter D now of 110. So this is 110 millimeters, 110 divided by 1000, 0 0.11 meters. And the coefficient of delivery, in this case, we are given the coefficient of delivery 0 0.97, uh, that's 0 0.97. And we are also given the mercury manometer shows a reading of 860 uh, uh, millimeters. So this is H1 for mercury. This is the one that we are given, which is 860 millimeters. If you convert to meters by dividing by 1,000, that's 0 0.86 meters. Okay, so the question is find Q, which is the flow rate. So we are to calculate Q from this information. How can we have the value for Q? Okay, we just have to insert, this is a formula, guys. We just have, uh, we just need our formula here. So our Q in this case, which is equivalent. So uh, here we can have uh, two formulas that we can work with for Q. So remember, guys, I talked about this from the question paper, I think it was Feb 2022 or June that I talked about these two formulas. So in this case, I'm just going to use the one that I favor the most, which is Q is equivalent to CD uh, times A times A over the square root of A squared minus A squared, okay, times the square root of two GH in this case. So we actually did this question like this, same like this one, but only, that the diameter, I mean, this edge is the one that changed. Uh, if you check the previous question, it was 0 0.85, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, anyways, uh, this edge is for the height, uh, which is for water, okay? And this one is for mercury. And we know that the relationship between these two is that H1, okay, can be taken from the one for water over 12.6 if you are dealing with mercury. So this one is for mercury and for water. So to find H water, in this case, we are going to cross multiply, which is 12,6 times H1 for mercury in this case, all right? So this is your mercury, which is the one that you are already given as 0, comma, so you put 12,6 times 0, 0,86, all right? So if you multiply this, we are going to obtain our H for water, which is something like 10, comma, eight three six meters all right so we have h for water then we have to calculate also a the area from the from the pipe so from our pipe in this case we are given a diameter of zero comma uh zero zero comma one eight so remember that area is equivalent to pi d squared over four so this is going to be pi times that diameter of zero comma one eight squared everything over four. So you're going to have the area of the pipe, uh, which is going to be 0, 0.0254 square meters. We do the same for the smaller one, uh, for that uh, pinot that we have with a smaller diameter of 0, 0.11. So if you substitute it to this formula, you're going to obtain 
0 0.0095 as your area in square meters. Okay, so that's it, guys. We talked about uh, this formula. I talked about it a lot of times. Okay, so CD, we can substitute, uh, which is 0 0.97 times A, which is the bigger area of the pipe, 0 0.0254 times 0 0.0095 from our A here. Okay, so this is what we have, everything over the square root of a squared minus a squared, which is 0, 0.0254 squared minus 0, 0.0095 squared. All right, everything times the square root of two times G, your gravitational acceleration of 9.81 times the H for water now, which is this H that we calculated 10.836. So this is 10, 836. All right, so you're going to obtain your Q, which is the rate of flow in this case. That's uh, 0, 0.145 in cubic meters per second. All right, so uh, the other thing, let's check the units that we are given in this case uh, to use is just the rate. Okay, calculate. Okay, the question is just find the flow rate of water, we are not given any cubic meters per second or liters per second, so you just leave your answer like that. Okay, sometimes you might be given to convert to liters per second, which means you have to convert to liters per second from the conversion that I told you that a liter is equivalent to one cubic meter. Uh, oh, 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 sorry, sorry, one cubic meter is equivalent to 1,000 liters in this case, so you can use that conversion to calculate what to calculate the length for the what for the given uh I mean to calculate the volume from this information. So these are the typical questions, guys, that you have. So that's what we had, guys, for Amazon African motives till we meet again.